welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to go through my collection of Christmas books that I already own. Um, these aren't ones I bought for the year, I already owned these ones. And if you watch part one, in part one I showed you how to find Christmas or holiday pages or winter themed pages in books you already own that aren't holiday or season specific. So these books here are ones that are specific to the season and we're going to go through them and just kind of quickly show you what they are. I'm not doing flip throughs of each one. I'm going to make one big list in my Amazon shop of the Christmas and winter themed specific books for you guys in case you want to get them. So that'll be linked below. But the first one I have in my collection is Johanna Basford's Christmas, Johanna's Christmas. Um, unlike her other books, this is the one that has perforated edges so you can tear them out, which is rare. And then every single one has kind of a just a, you could color this page, but it's really kind of a throwaway page. So you can use markers and things that would bleed, but a lot of these pages are meant to be worked on single-sided. So lots of cute images. I want to do this one this year. This gingerbread house I really do this is my second copy my first one got destroyed um, and some of them I just messed up so and that's actually one I colored for Christmas in July um, pulled it out and painted it so let's see I don't think you can get this one anymore this is actually something I got in the line at the grocery store years ago so it's Southern Living, Christmas at Home. But what was cool about this one is there's always a recipe on one side and a coloring page on the other. Um, but I have not colored in it. <laughs> so it's so been kind of wasted. But like, you know, we got some truffles and brown sugar button recipes. But yeah, I, I honestly haven't. Um, worked in this book at all. It's never been colored in, so oh well. I, I probably will. I, it was one of those impulse buys. You saw it in the line at the grocery store and you're like, yeah, I'm going to use that. And then mm, four years later. <laughs> so oh, let me pull that up. All right. Then we have Escape to Christmas Past. So this is kind of a, there's a series of these little books. They're actually good paper. Um, Kind of like quirky images, but not quirky in some, like some of them are pretty normal, others are kind of quirky. Um, like that would be a really pretty spread. It's a smaller book, like your hand is about, you know, big enough. See, and then it's got kind of like Rita Berman-esque um, things going on. It's a big mixture. Not every page in here would I color, I'm not going to lie. Um... But there's still a pretty good variety that I'm interested in. But yeah, see, I mean, look how small it is. Okay, these ones will not be linked below because you cannot get these on Amazon. They are selling them on Lulu, and I think their website has the PDFs. But this is Christmas Patterns by Jade Summer. I may or may not have ever colored in this. I think I did. Yeah. That was some fine liners. Um, I bought this book, and I'm not going to lie. It wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> um, it's not really a mandala. It's just boring, repetitive patterns, and I didn't find it very relaxing. I might actually give this one away this year. I just don't see me coloring in it. All right. Um, another one from Jade Summer that we're not going to be able to link to, but this is Christmas coloring book. And this is, these are kind of the styles back when I wasn't really impressed with Jade Summer. Um, just very basic computer generated images. You know, there are du duplicates like always. I don't know. I colored that one though with fine liners as well. <laughs> so I did color a page, but yeah, I just, I don't know. This book doesn't call to me. Um, so I can't even explain why I bought another one, but this is also the Christmas coloring book. That The one I showed you was volume three. This is the first one. 
this one is very computer generated. Um, like, see how it just looks like it was drawn on a computer. The boxes are just, there's nothing hand, there's no artistry behind these ones. And this was like one of the first ones I had gotten from Jade Summer when I discovered them. And I was just like, uh, oh, these are kind of, see, I mean, it just the style over the years has evolved. That's for sure. This might honestly be one I give away as well. Looks like I started that one. It was like with Marco Ruffins or something. It's a long time ago, but. All right. And then Winter Windlings. Um, this is part of the Dreamlings series. Same artist from Edwina McNam. McNam. So half of them are with a black background. The other half white background but the images are the same so I don't think I ever colored in this one I bought it because it was like on sale but I'm not sure I like it <laughs> gotta be in the mood her her art week her artwork is definitely different so oh I did do one that's right I tried watercolor Arteza watercolor pen um watercolor pencils in here and it did not work out well because this is create space paper. So yeah. And then we have the winter dreamlings, same artist. Same thing, you'll have some on a black background and then you can have the same images on a white background. I kind of like the black background, saves me the stress of making one, but sometimes you want to do something yourself too. But again, I don't know if I'm feeling this one. It was one of those ones I bought because it looks so cute online. And then it got here and I was just like, ah, I don't know. All right, I have a bunch of Creative Haven ones. In fact, that's almost all I have left in this pile. But this is Winter Scenes by, oh, Marty Noble. So these are a little bit more complex. I mean, like, look at that one. You have to do a lot more realistic work in here. So they can be a little overwhelming. Um, again, I after I bought this one, I was like, ah, this really isn't my style. <laughs> like half of these, I'm like, I don't even know if I'm gonna color. Um, okay, now we're getting into the ones I actually like. So this is Country Christmas by Teresa Goodridge. I don't know how much I colored in this one. I got it last year. Very awesome. Teresa Goodridge style pages. So cute. Adorable. Love anything that woman draws. What can I say? Did I not color in this one? I did buy it last year. So I might not have finished a page in it. Wow. All right. Uh, vintage uh, Christmas Windows by David and Legiana Bodo. Probably butchered that. Uh, this one at the time looked kind of interesting. Like, they're just all Christmas windows, you know, decorated. I was like, ooh, that'd be fun. But then some of the drawings, I'm just kind of, eh. I don't know. I don't like the art style, I guess. But I know, I, yeah, I had started that one. This is one I bought a long time ago. I don't think I ever actually finished a window. I mean, on the cover, they make it look so cool. <laughs> but that's not how they come out. All right, uh, Christmas Scapes. This is by, oh, I can never say her name. It's like Jenna Mazur, Mazurix. I'm going to, yeah, that one. So these are just like patterns, but they're really fun and funky. I actually like this one. Oh, the ribbon one would be fun. She's got some images in there too. I know I've colored something in here. Oh, I started that one with fine liners and regretted it. Started that with fine liners too. <laughs> um, I think this one is on Amazon for like $2 and some change. No, it's the Christmas florals, not this one. Christmas florals. Okay. Lanza is the artist of this one, but this is Christmas trees. Um, 
this one I actually I know I did a few in here and I had some fun so I did that one this was actually um, I had colored this with Prismacolor and then I did a tutorial on my channel showing how to basically ignore the lines and create so see all the lines the artist left well I just basically ignored those and made my own with my prism colors so it looked fluffier and more real and I had a blast doing that one I don't think I got around to coloring a bunch in here last Christmas was very stressful um so I didn't do as much Christmas coloring but all of these are so cool like, these would be so fun to just work on, you know? They're all very pretty trees. I like that one a lot. All right. Enchanted Christmas. This is Teresa Goodridge's newest one, or sorry, second newest. Um, it came out in, like, September or August. Really random. And then her autumn book came out in, like, September. <laughs> so I was like, why didn't this come out after? Um, now, some people... So this has the same crappy paper as Autumn Charm. Uh, feels a little better than Autumn Charm. I don't know. But um, yeah, so this one I haven't colored in yet because like I said, I only just got it. But uh, the Teresa Goodridge style is definitely there. Oh, that's super cute. I haven't even flipped through this one yet. Um... Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, and if you see any images in any of these, you want me to do a color along or whatever, just let me know. Oh, a unicorn! That's actually really cute. <laughs> All right, another Teresa Goodridge. Um, if she makes a book, I'm going to buy it. Just, yeah, spoiler alert. Uh, this is Christmas Charm. I know I've done at least one in here. So I did this one. For sure. Uh, this was Prismacolor. Same thing. I was just ignoring the lines and creating my own fluffy effect. Oh, I can't wait to do that again. It's kind of like with hair. It's very therapeutic. But yeah, Prismacolor and Posca, I think, is what I used on that one. It was fun. Super fluffy. I don't know if I colored anything else. Oh, I did. I think that's with Holbein's. Ooh, I'm pretty sure that is Holbein's. Let's see. Again, just traditional Teresa Goodridge style. I know they can be so... Oops. Some of these marks are from a scavenger hunt that I didn't actually record the video to. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so bad sometimes about tags. It's just I get so busy and I... Look, I marked all the pages. I just never got around to it. I really need to do a bunch on this one this year. Oh, that one just gets me excited for Christmas. All right, Christmas florals. This is the one that is like $2.89 on Amazon. Um, I'm recording this on November 22nd. And at the time of this, it's also part of the buy three for the price of two deal. So you can grab this one for like nada. Um, and then a lot of Teresa Goodridge's Christmas ones are also in that sale. So this is literally just a bunch of Christmas florals, but it's really pretty. The paper is nice. I mean, look at that. I think I got this one after Christmas last year, but I had meant to color in it because it was so pretty. Look at all that. And I'm not usually a fan of this artist's work. Um, oh, I had started this one with Polly's. And just got bored. <laughs> uh, I think it was because I didn't like how my poinsettias were turning out. So ran for the hills. But yep, I do have that one. Okay. Last but not least is a Whimsy Girls Christmas. This is the Hannah Lynn Christmas one. Now it's doubled up. So 30 images times two. Meaning you have one of each. Two of each. Sorry. Um... Really cute, adorable, Christmassy ones. You got angels, you got fairies, you've got this is one of my favorites. I really want to do that one this year. I've seen it done so many times though, I'm afraid I'll screw it up. But yeah, really cute stuff in here. I'll do that one too. And that one. Oh, I wanted so much to do. That one too. 
they're all adorable. Oh, I colored this one last year with Ohuhu markers. I forgot about that. With some sparkly things on the wings and some stickles. I was just learning how to use markers. <laughs> uh, don't judge me. Oh, it looks like I did. Oh, that's right. This is called the Christmas Eve Mermaid, and I colored it on Christmas Eve. Um, Prisma Colors, white gel pen or Posca there. The background was Neo Colors. I was seeing how they worked on Amazon Create Space paper. And spoiler alert, not very well, but that's what that one was. Oh, it looks like I started that one and never finished. Story of my life. Yeah, really cute. It's funny, my um, holiday, I want to do that one kind of, my haul for this month, I've gotten quite a few Christmas books, so yeah, that is it. Um, I don't have a ton of Christmas, fall is my season, I burn out on Christmas pretty easily, um, plus I feel like you can't just find winter books. Um, in fact, I swore I had a winter scenes book, but I can't find it. Um, so yeah, I, I burn out quickly on just straight Christmas because Christmas is just December. I mean, winter goes all the way through February and into March. And all these books I'm showing you guys are what I'm going to be working on, you know, not like for good, there'll be things I'll mix in, but a lot of these I'll be doing in December, but then those that are just wintry and not super Christmassy, you know, let's see, just trying to find some that are, I mean, that could be just wintry, it doesn't have to be Christmassy, well, except the tree. Um, I like that one, that's a winter one, it doesn't have to be Christmassy. I'll be doing winter ones too, because, you know, once December's over, I'm burnt out on the colors of red and green, um, and so, yeah, I like start breaking out the winter pages instead, but yeah, that is part two of this series. Like I said, we're going backwards this time because I'm really hoping that the last few books I ordered will come. Um, they are from Coloring Heaven, so if they aren't here by tomorrow, I'm just going to call it and film the other, the third part because I want to get this series out for you guys, but I'll definitely make uh, a wish list, not a wish list, a list below, shopping list from my Amazon store so you can buy any of these that you want. Remember, they're just affiliate links. They don't cost you anything, but they do help my channel um, so that I can buy, you know, all these lovely supplies and do all these reviews. But definitely let me know if any of the Christmas and holiday books that I already own you want to see a color along or a tutorial in. And then I will also be showing you guys my um, brand new winter and holiday books here very soon in part three. So I will see you then.